please don't hang up on me, Mr. Scan. Calling Prime Investigation Unit of IRS Department. How can I help you? I got a message about a warrant, and I don't know why. Tax, All right, sir. So is it well, the tax, number? It said tax so fraud. Is it, what? All right. So, so is this the same number which you received the message? Yes. Yes. So this is the same number, right? Yes. All right. So, sir, can you please verify me your first name and last name so that I can pull out your record? Yes, my first name is Yure, E-U-R-A. And your last name? Dupek, D-U-P-E-K. T-U-P-E-K, Dupek, right? Du, D, D is in David. Okay, T-U-P, D, so, D sorry, sir, can you please spell it once again? D-U-P-E-K. Okay, D U P E K, right? That's right. You're All right, so sir, can, uh, can you please verify me when was the last time you pay a tax? Uh, February. February of this year? Yeah, I pay them every year. That's why I don't understand what's going on. All right, so do you file the taxes by yourself or you have an accountant or any third person to uh, file it for you? I have an accounting firm do it for me, Howard Fine and Howard. Your accountants. I mean, the whole building's full of accountants. All right. You're, All right. I, I so you have an accountant. To, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have an accountant to file the taxes for you, right? Mo Howard at Howard Fine and Howard. All right. Are you employed or unemployed at the moment? I'm retired. Since when? For how long? I've been retired three years now. Okay, three years ago. Yeah. All right. All right, sir. Uh, since when did you start filing your taxes? In which year? Did I start filing them? 1966. Mm -hmm. 1966. I've done them every year since 1966. All right. Okay, sir, can you please verify me your mailing address? Yeah, it's 2573 Deer mm -hmm. Haven Drive. Sorry, can you please spell it? Deer, D-E-E-R. No, 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 Haven Drive, right? Deer Haven Drive. Okay, Deer Haven Drive, right? Right. Okay, can you please confirm your zip code? 29302. 29302, right? Yes. All right. Okay, so, so here before I go ahead and explain anything about these cases, let me... Firstly, inform you that you cannot disconnect this call or put it on mute or hold as this call is federal recorded call on three-way conference call with the Homeland Security, okay? Homeland Security? Mm-hmm. What? So make sure you do doing? not interrupt. So this is a conference call with the Homeland Security, so make but sure you do not interrupt or I do not let it. I don't understand Homeland Security being involved in my taxes. So because now you have an arrest warrant issue against under your name due to unpaid and federal taxes. Yes, right. That's the reason why this call is federal recorded call on three-way conference call with the security, okay? So make sure you do not interrupt or do not let any third party interrupt this call while I'm giving information about this case, all right? Okay. If we found you are doing this, then it will be considered that you are trying to run away from the situation or trying to defraud the IRS. All right, sir? Trying to run away? Why would I run away? All right, so, sir, here, um, the, according to the case papers, you found suspicious and breaking important laws of the United States Constitution. So the IRS is imposing CP11A notice and two charges that is violation of IRS according to the chapter 75, section 7201, and willful misrepresentation of information to the government organization, according to the chapter 75, section 7202 and 7203. These are the two allegations which is under your name, all right? And now notice has been attached to your case file. I'm going to explain you about this notice, okay? Okay. So, so here the IRS has conducted a statutory audit by the auditors 
for the last 5, 10, and 15 years for every tax payers, okay? 15 years? Mm-hmm. That's a little long, I think. I, I don't know. How would I know what right. taxes I did 15 years ago? All right, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to talk about each and everything, okay? So, as I told you, the IRS has conducted a statutory audit by the auditor for the last 5, 10, and 15 years for every taxpayer. So, in your case, in your case, there is miscalculations involved in your earned income credit, okay, which is from the year 2002 to 2013, which concluded that the tax rate is $1,000. $950, which means each and every year there is some outstanding amount of taxes under your name. And when we calculated all the outstanding amount of taxes from the year 2002 to 2013, it concluded that the tax rate is $1,950, okay? I, I, I don't know what the tax credit is you're talking about. I don't remember ever applying for a tax credit. So it's about your earned income tax. There is some miscalculations in your earned income tax, which is from the year 2002 to 2013. I don't know. How, how would I know what I made a mistake on it? I don't even think my accountants at Howard Fine and Howard go back that far. All right, sir. But here when we did an audit on your tax. We found that there were many miscalculations and errors, and the taxes that you filed did not match with the record which we have here, which means, for example, if you were supposed to pay $1,000, you only pay $700. So as that amount is still outstanding under your name that you have not paid, so as the arrest warrant is on activation mode, we are only giving you this notification call to notify about your arrest warrant oh. and solve these cases along with you right now outside the courthouse, okay? Well, because maybe, once you end up inside... Maybe I should call Mo, once, Mo Howard at Howard Fine and Howard. He's the one that does my taxes and see what he did. But I'm sure he won't have records back that far. All right, so here, uh, let me tell you that you have got a limited time of only 30 minutes to solve these cases. 30 okay? minutes? Because now, yes, because now you have an arrest warrant issue against under your name, and it's on activation mode, okay? And you have got a limited time of only 30 minutes to solve these cases, and if you didn't solve these cases within the given limited time, the cops will be at your doorstep and put you behind the bars for more than 72 hours. Not but only that, each... Uh, put me behind not bars. Only that, for taxes? Yes, sir. Not only that, each and everything which is owned by you will be seized by the government. And once these cases end up inside the courthouse, you have two allegations under your name, right? So for each allegation, they are going to charge you $10,000 each, what? which means you'll end up paying $20,000 inside the courthouse. So we don't want that to well, to you. That, uh, half an hour. I, I couldn't even get a hold of Mo Howard at Howard Fine and Howard in half an hour. I don't know how I'm going to do that. All right, so here you have an outstanding amount of taxes, which is $1,950, okay? So if you, if you pay the outstanding amount, which is $1,950, then the case will be solved. The case will be solved, as well as your arrest warrant will be I don't deactivated, get to see, okay? I don't get to see this audit. I mean, to see where the mistakes were made, if they were, how do I know you didn't make the mistake? Sir, there is no mistakes regarding from the IRS department because the audit has been done by the IRS department, not well, only by one person. What if they made person. a mistake? That's what I'm saying. What if they made a mistake? Do I get my money back? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir, you're right. If, if there is a mistake, then definitely you will get your money back, okay? But here, there is no mistake. You can see in the case papers that there is no mistake, but there is a miscalculation and errors from your side. That's the reason why you're facing this problem right now, okay? Well, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should call Mo Howard or call my lawyers at Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe and talk to Howie Howe. All right, Howe. sir. Uh, so here, your lawyer, 
or your accountant has nothing to do with this because they won't be able to help you out. The arrest warrant is issued against under your name and you are the sole person who can solve these cases as well as deactivate your arrest warrant, okay? So now here I would like to know your attention that would you like to solve these cases or would you like to solve these cases inside the courthouse? Well, if I've only got a half an hour, I suppose I'm going to have to solve it now, but I don't have $1,950. All right. You didn't have the full amount, but how how how, how much amount of money can you come up with so that we can hold the cases as well as deactivate your arrest warrant? I got a thousand dollars. That's all I got with me. All right, sir. Just hold on the line. I'm gonna connect your call to the higher authority who can possibly guide you and give you the right direction in solving this higher cases. Authority. Yes, the higher authority who have all the authority to solve these cases as well as deactivate your arrest warrant. As you told me, you have $1,000, right? Right. All right, so they have the authority to hold these cases as well as deactivate your arrest warrant, okay? Okay. All right, just hold on the line for a moment, okay? I'm going to connect your call, all right? All right. All right. Thank you so much for being on hold. This call has been transferred to attorney Chinarel Nathan Mayo. How can I help you? I don't know. The lady sent me to you because they didn't have the full amount, and she said I had to All talk right. to you. <clears throat> so you wrote Dupac, right? Yes, Dupac. Very Dupac. All right. So you can let me know how much you can come up so that we can go ahead and solve your arrest warrant and the remaining amount you need to come up with. Like a monthly payment. So, how much do you have right now with you? Right now, I told her I have one thousand dollars. That's it. All right. So, you want to stop your arrest warrant with a thousand dollars, or do that, right? Well, yeah. I don't want to get arrested, and I don't have any choice, I guess. I only got a half an hour to get this done. All right. And you can also let me know the remaining amount. When can you come up the remaining amount? Probably. Well, I can. Can I make monthly payments? I. I don't know. I can't come up with it all at right. once. I mean, I'm an old guy. So, do you know any government authorized store like a Target store? Government authorized Target, no. Yeah, Target store. Target store, no. Yeah, Target. I've got Target. All right. Yeah. All right. And what about like Walgreens or Walmart? Got a Walgreens. There's a Walgreens yeah. which is right down the street, but we don't have a Target here. There's right, a Walmart, no but that's further away. There's a Walmart and a Walgreens. All right. Like how many minutes will take to reach this store? To reach Walgreens? Why am I going to Walgreens? Yeah, Walgreens or a Walmart. You can walk to any of the stores which will be the nearest by your location. Well, so you just give me the confirmation which, which store is nearest by your location. Walgreens is the ner nearest one to me. All right. And Mr. Hero, like how many minutes do you take to reach this store? Oh, gee, it only takes a couple minutes to get there. But if, I, right, walk, well, then, if I walk, it's uh -huh. going to take longer. You can also take your time. Meanwhile, I will be working on your fault in order to stop this arrest warrant. So you well, just walk under the The problem wall. is I can't walk that far. We can go, yeah, we can go ahead and stop this arrest warrant. And we will send all the resolutions to it. I can take my car, but the plates are expired. Yeah, very good time, but do not disconnect the line or don't give the phone in mood or in hold. Fill your own money yourself, all right? So all do right. not disconnect the line. Stay connected with me and walk down to the store. And once you go to the wall green, you just let me know. Well, I'm going to... I'm taking the car. I can't walk that far, even though the plates are all right, expired. Take time. i got to drive. I don't know. Can you All give right, me the authority to drive? That's what I'm saying you. You can take your time, all right? And once you're at the parking lot of the Walgreens, you just let me know. I will be working under your file on top of this arrest warrant. Am okay. I kidding you? All right. All right, take your time. All right, goodbye. I'll be back. No, sir. What? Mr. Euro. Can you? Huh? Until and unless you're on the line with me, you are safe. So do not disconnect the line, all right? Oh, so I, okay. Okay, I understand yeah. now. Okay. All right, Let all me right. go out to the car. All right, all right. Take your time. Okay.
Okay. I'm in the car. Are you there? All right, all right. You just drive safe, all right? And don't be in so hurry. Uh oh, hello, sir, sir, you there? Hello, hello, hello. All right, yes, we'll see you. There's, there's a cop behind me. All right, all right. You just take your time, all right? Oh, and your zip code is it? Two nine three zero. What? 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 This guy wants me to pull over bad. What? Your zip code is 29302, right? Well, I'm not worried about my zip code right now. I'm getting pulled over. What, what should I tell him? What should I tell him? He's getting out of the car. Right. The cop's coming up All to right. me. Okay. Uh -oh. License and registration, please. I'm I'm on the way to pay my taxes, sir. Can you want to talk to the IRS man I'm talking to? He told me it'd be okay to drive. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Would you talk to the policeman, please, and tell him it's okay for me to drive? I can get you. What drive? The policeman. Policeman. Yes. What happened to policeman? He pulled me over. Why? Because you were talking please. on the phone? Yes. License and registration, please. I'm trying to tell him. Okay, okay, put the phone on the speaker. I'm trying to tell him. I'm trying to tell him I'm on my way to pay my taxes. Huh? What? What'd you say? No, no. Simply go ahead and put it on the speaker phone somewhere, get outside of the car, pay the fine, and that's it. Why you will explain all these things to the police officer what you were doing? Because you told me to drive there and I haven't got plates. So you should have used some co like some common sense, like common sense. Common sense. sense. Common sense would tell common you sense. not common to send sense. me there, you scammer. You scammer. Oh my God. You foolish oh my bastard. God. You are a foolish bastard. Here, you want to hear the siren again? <laughs> How are you think? Like, you like that? You're the only one. You're you the want... only one who is the smart one. What do you think? I think I'm smarter than you, and I'm nuts. <laughs> Just leave, otherwise you will fall. You're a jerk off. Come on, admit it. Admit you're a jerk off, and I'll hang up. Oh, uh, job, and okay. I promise I won't call you no more today. Okay? Just say, oh, okay. just say, I'm okay. sorry, I'm a jerk off, and we're done. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say it, huh? When the scammers 